Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another matchup in the World Martial Arts Tournament sponsored by Ludi Bros Entertainment. This matchup is going to feature Cooler as he does war with Son Goku and Vegeta. Son Goku and Vegeta starting things off by charging one, and now they're going to tap that one to play out a Saiyan Bloodline Son Goku. Saiyan Bloodline Son Goku is going to allow them to look at the top three cards of the deck, choose a blue or yellow Saiyan card among them, add it to the hand, and then place the other two cards on the bottom of the deck in any order. So the Undying Spirit Son Gohan taken to the hand, and with that, the turn ends. Cooler draws for turn. Cooler is going to be charging for energy, starting things off for him. And now Cooler swings at Goku and Vegeta. No counters from Goku and Vegeta. When this card attacks draw one, the auto activates, swinging with just 10. Son Goku and Vegeta goes ahead and takes the hit, dropping down to seven lives. After that, what will Cooler do? He's going to go ahead and pass turn, leaving his energy standing to potentially defend himself with a counter. Son Goku and Vegeta go ahead and charge. They're up to two energy now. One energy being tapped. Playing out Trunks, fighting the darkness. When you play this card, you choose one card in your hand. You put it in your drop it area. You choose one blue and one yellow. Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Add them to your hand. You'll shuffle the deck. The Undying Spirit is dropped. Now the search begins. Here comes the Sweeper. And here comes Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. The blues and the yellows coming together in this deck. The leader swings. Son Goku and Vegeta swings at Cooler. When this card attacks, draw one. The auto activating. Cooler goes ahead. He's being swung out with 10. And he takes the hit. Big time hit. Drop down to seven. Both combatants down to seven lives. Cooler goes ahead. Draws for turn. Time to charge. He charges up his energy. And what will be done now? He's got two active energy. Cooler decides to swing at Son Goku and Vegeta. Swinging at the leader. No counters from Son Goku and Vegeta. When this card attacks, you're going to go ahead and draw one. Cooler swinging with just 10. And Son Goku and Vegeta takes the hit back. Now they're down to six lives. Time to tap some energy for Cooler as he debates and deliberates over his play. Tapping one. Playing out a thought, I was finished. This is going to lower down the attack power of one of the battle cards by 15k. Lowering down that Saiyan Bloodline Son Goku. A card needs to be milled due to the leader's auto. Cooler is a mill deck, which causes you to send cards from the top of your deck to your drop area in an effort to try and remove your deck from the game and make you lose a different type of win strategy being played out by Cooler. Son Goku and Vegeta charge for turn. They're up to three energies now. Son Goku and Vegeta swing at the leader. No counters from Cooler. When this card attacks, you go ahead and draw one. Swinging with 10 at Cooler, and Cooler now takes the hit. He's unable to defend. After that, turn is passed. Three active energies still standing for Son Goku and Vegeta. Both combatants feeling each other out, trying to debate who's going to win, who's going to survive this attack. We've already seen Son Goku and Vegeta, piloted by Titus, defeat a cooler deck earlier on in the tournament. Will he be able to defeat this second version of the deck? We'll find out. Cooler charges for turn. Cooler now swinging at the leader. No counters from Son Goku and Vegeta. Swing with any combos. When this card attacks, draw one. Don't forget your effect. Swings with 10, and the hit is taken. More damage being taken by the Saiyans. What will happen here now? What will be the follow-up play? Cooler has three energy active. Son Goku and Vegeta also have three energy active. After that, turn being passed over. Both combatants feeling each other out, unsure, unwary of making a strong move. They both know that each other's deck is powerful. Son Goku and Vegeta now has four energy. Uh-oh, time for their big play. If you have four or more energy, you're able to play out two cards from your hand for free, a Goku and a Vegeta. After you play these two cards out, you have to negate this skill for the duration of the game. Here come the Saiyans roaring out on the field. A counter being played by Cooler. Two energy being tapped for a Frieza Undying Emperor. 
When you counter with this card, you return a card on your opponent's side of the field with the energy cost of three or less. He chooses to send back the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Vegeta falling victim to Frieza. One energy being tapped by Sun Goku and Vegeta trying to play out a Vegeta the Sweet Talker. He comes out onto the field. Sun Goku and Vegeta swinging at Cooler. No counters from Cooler. He's debating. No counters. Auto, when this card attacks, you go ahead and draw one. Swinging with 10. A handful of cards there for Cooler, and he decides to combo out of the attack. He fights off Sun Goku and Vegeta. Sun Goku and Vegeta realize they were only supposed to play Trunks or Vegito cards. They bring back that Sweet Talker to the hand. After that, the turn ends for Sun Goku and Vegeta. Cooler draws for turn, restands his energy. He's going to go ahead and power himself up. Now up to turn four. He was able to hold off that play from Sun Goku and Vegeta. Usually turn four is when that deck decides it's time to end things, but not this time. Cooler defending himself for a turn, fighting off the attack. Cooler now swinging at the leader. No counters from Sun Goku and Vegeta. Swinging with 10 right now, but comboing up. Got a blue and a red in the combo area, which is going to open him up for a rival. Arriving out cooler, tyrannical assault to come roaring onto the field, swinging at the leader with 20k. Sun Goku and Vegeta questions the drop of that cooler, tyrannical assault. It's a five drop. He's looks like he's not going to go ahead and activate the counter. Auto, when you play this card, your opponent plays at the top card of their deck in the drop area and up to two of their battle cards lose 10k he's lowering down the attack power of the trunks fighting the darkness and the super saiyan blue the sweeper trunks is destroyed with two cards being milled thanks to cooler's effect once again this is a milling deck it wants you to send the top cards of your deck to the drop area swinging with 20 at the leader and sun goku and vegeta go ahead and take the hit damage being done they're down to four lives Tyrannical Assault now decides to get on the action. He swings, but Whis's Coercion activates, negating the attack and restanding a blue energy, defending Son Goku and Vegeta from any damage. Now, Cooler the Undying Emperor swings. Any counters? There are none. Swinging with 15. And Son Goku and Vegeta take the hit. They're dropping down to three lives. Cooler in complete control of this match. One energy being tapped to play out a Frost before the Storm. There we go, Cooler with a great play to rebound and attack back, doing lots of damage and establishing some board presence. Sun Goku and Vegeta charge for turn, one energy being tapped. Here comes that sweet talker, now he can comes out onto the field for no problems at all. A blue Goku and a yellow Vegeta are on the field, two energy being tapped. They're throwing on the Patara earrings, they're fusing together. Vegito, meteoric energy coming out onto the field, powered up and ready to swing. Meteoric swings at the leader, a counter being played by Cooler. After image technique, it's gonna boost up his leader to 50K, minusing 10 from meteoric energy, but meteoric has barrier, he's not going down. Meteoric still able to combo, he combos in memories of the past, a super combo, drawing one based off the sparking five, and a Trunks fighting the darkness. He's got three cards in his combo er energy area. Now that he's got three cards in the combo area, he's able to play out that Memories of the Past. He's gonna come out onto the field. Trunks, filled with rage, is gonna come out onto the field. And it looks like he's gonna get in on some of the action. This cooler might be in trouble. We'll see what happens here. Now the rest of the effect activates for that Meteoric. He's gonna switch everything on the field to rest mode, energy, and battle cards. Now here comes the attack. From memories of, oh, the leader decides to swing first. He swings at Cooler. No counters from Cooler. One card being drawn, swinging with 20. Cooler's hand size down a little bit. He goes ahead and takes the hit, dropping himself down to five lives. Memories of the past effect activates. When you play this card, you get to draw one and add a card into your energy from the hand. Memories of the past working in conjunction with that meteoric Vegito. Trunks Memories of the Past goes ahead and swings. Any counters from Cooler? He's going to counter. He's got the Sparking 5, so he's going to go ahead. He's going to take a life to activate After Image Technique. It's going to power him up, raising him back up to 50, lowering down the Memories of the Past. That's his only target because Meteoric uh, Energy Vegito has Barrier. 
a card being milled because a card's a battle uh, power was lowered based off the leader cooler's effect. He's struggling to mill out the deck, hoping to get rid of the resources for Sun Goku and Vegeta. Cooler draws for turn. He's unable to reset his energy due to meteoric uh, Vegito's effect. He's going to go ahead and charge for turn. The leader does restand. Now it's time. He's at four or less. He's going to go ahead and awaken by drawing two cards or drawing one card, excuse me, restanding one energy. He's got two active energy now to play with. And now we're going to go ahead. We're going to see the leader flip over to become cooler revenge transformed. Cooler revenge transformed now swings at the leader. No counters coming from Vegito. What will happen here? Debating, possibly changing his attack target. We'll see. He's questioning how many cards are in hand for Vegito. There's nine cards there in the Vegito hand. No counters from Vegito. When this card attacks, uh, attacks draw one. Cooler Revenge Transform trying to fight back. Swinging with just 15, and the hit is taken. Vegito dropping down to two lives. Damage being done. The fight can continue. Cooler can pull this off. He's got four lives. Let's see what happens here. None of his other battle cards are able to restand, but he has two active energy. Will he tap them to play something? Will he save them for defense? He goes ahead and passes turn. It looks like he's going to keep his energy standing for defense. Here comes Goku, or here comes Vegito. Excuse me. He's questioning how many cards are in rest. There's seven cards in rest for Cooler. Vegito goes ahead, charges another Memories of the Past. Will he be able to pull off the same combo again? Let's see what happens here. Five energy being counted up. Five energy will be tapped. One energy left standing. Power of Patara. Vegito, Kefla, and Zamasu coming out onto the field. The secret rare. When this card comes out onto the field, you switch that energy to rest mode, and then he's able to draw four cards, replenishing his hand. What a play. Meteoric Energy, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito will swing at the leader. No counters from Cooler. He's completely tapped out. Tapping one, comboing in that Memories of the Past Trunks. Another super combo to draw one. And his son, Gohan, Undying Spirit, joins the combo. Swinging now. Add it all up. 55 single strike. Cooler takes the hit. What a blast from Meteoric. But now the true monster, the true monster now swings. 40,000, 45, 50, 60 coming in, 70 possibly coming in, 80, draw one off of the super combo. 90, draw one. Oh my lord, powered all the way up. 100,000 double strike. Cooler trying to fight back. A couple of super combos. Drawing, filling his hand. Will Cooler be able to fight off this attack? He's fighting off the secret rare. 45, 50, 55, 60K. It's not enough. Cooler is destroyed. Vegito has now eliminated two versions of the Cooler deck from the World Martial Arts Tournament as sponsored by the Ludi Bros. If you enjoy these types of battles, please subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below, see what you can ask us to go ahead and play, what you can ask us to go ahead and bring you guys for this Dragon Ball Super content. We love bringing this to you. We're enjoying the World's Martial Arts Tournament. Continue to tune in. And we will see you guys next time.